guys, what's up? Yes, yes, people, we are back. We are back, we are here again. Come on. And it's Unscripted Extra. Mm -hmm. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a review. Indeed. Slash reaction. Reaction. Slash conversation. You already know how you it goes. Know. You already know. So, what are we going today? I don't know if you guys have been following this whole Amber Heard, uh, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp case that's been going on it's a very big case so if you don't know about it mm -hmm. you've probably been sleeping but it's a massive case Indeed. and um quick sh um short long short story of the whole thing long short story short story <laughs> <laughs> short, yeah. short story basically amber heard a couple of years ago accused johnny depp of you know being an abuser emotionally oh this been not going on for like years that. no so he okay. this is what uh, this is what basically happened so he she accused him of these things like okay. a couple of years ago like maybe two three years ago okay, okay. everyone basically cancelled him not social media cancelled 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 so corporate cancelling so all of his um films and all of that kind of stuff they cut him off like he was um what's this film that he was in that this harry potter sequel kind of stuff Grimwood or whatever they call that, he got cancelled from that. A lot of these kind of, you know, um, ambassador like um, schemes and all that kind of stuff, like he got cut off from all of that. So a big chunk of his money was basically cut off based on these accusations. But it's now come out that a lot of the accusations were not even true, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. So he was now, this now new case that now opened up earlier this year was basically him, you know, saying that, listen, it's not disappointment what she, she feels is beyond words. Well, let's go straight to our correspondent, Nami Iqbal, who is outside the courtroom in Fairfax, Virginia. I I've been watching this over the past hour, Nami. Uh, you've been right there. I mean, the first part, let us just get to the point when uh, the jury and the judge came in, everybody was standing up, and then it turned out that the paperwork hadn't been filled out correctly, and out they filed again. What? Only in America. <laughs> That's right, because the jury of uh, five men and two women had to also decide what damages they were going to award uh, both individuals. So they had to go away and fill out the, that part of the verdict sheet and decide what damages. And that led to this whole flurry of speculation, because if you're awarding damages, it means that somebody has won. Mm -hmm. And then a short while later, they delivered their verdict. And as that verdict was delivered, which uh, ruled in favour of Johnny Depp, the reaction outside court was quite something. You have a lot of Johnny Depp supporters out here. They've been here for the six-week trial. It has overwhelmingly been in support of him. And they started uh, shouting and yelling and cheering and shouting, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Um, just to remind you again of what this case was, he brought this six-week trial, six-week court case, after an opinion piece that Amber Heard wrote in 2018 for the Washington Post, in which she talked about what it was like to be a, uh, a victim of domestic abuse. She never named him in the article. But he claimed it ruined his career, that it led to, led to reputational damage. So he sued her for $50 million. But, but here's the bit where it probably slightly gets sli a bit confusing, in that she brought a counterclaim against him. She claimed that he defamed her when he and his ex-lawyer called her allegations of abuse a hoax. So basically, both of them were suing each other, accusing each other of defaming one another. And so the jury had to decide. How does that even work? Out? I don't know. That's something, she just sounds like someone that's guilty. Because wait, so you, so Johnny Depp wanted to sue her based on yeah, the claims yeah. that she made. So then she now wanted to sue him for basically suing her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> Again, only in America. Only, only in America. ...side <laughs> on both cases today. They delivered two verdicts. And in the case of um, Johnny Depp, they found that Amber Heard did defame him. And that is quite something, because here in America, you have to get over a pretty legal bar, high bar. And they found that Johnny Depp did defame her in elements of hers. But this has been a trial that has captured... Um, the, the, the minds, I guess, of, of people in this country. It's been so high profile. My, and my colleague, David Silito, has been uh, looking back at the case and sort of just reminding us of the background of it. There was the video. Ah. What happened? The photographs. Slap me across the face. And he slapped me again. And hours of testimony. He just kicked me in the back. That was the love of my life.
Oh yeah, like, <laughs> Jesus stuff. But, like, these are actors, you know? Yeah, it's true, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> be aware of actors. You know, be actors aware. Actors are dangerous, man. Remind me, I'm not getting, I'm not getting no relationship <laughs> with any actor <laughs> because, um, hey, <laughs> it's mad, you know? So, the claims she made, are they all f false? I don't know. I okay. don't know. Again, the relationship sounded very, very toxic. Yeah. But, Again, some of the claims that she made, some of them were proven not to be as she stated. Some of the claims that, and the thing is, a lot of the claims weren't really backed up with any real evidence or mm, stuff like mm, that. Mm. Whereas a lot of the claims that Johnny Depp came with, mm. there was a lot of evidence and okay. a lot of witnesses and a lot of things okay, kind of yeah. thing as well going on. But yeah, man, this relationship just sounded very, very toxic. <laughs> He was, but he was also this other thing. For six weeks, Johnny Depp has arrived at court each day to cheers. Amber Heard, silence, and sometimes worse. Can you please tell the jury why you're here today? Um, yes. The answer to that question was reputation. Johnny Depp, Hollywood star, was trying to prove to the world that his ex-wife's claims of domestic violence were simply untrue. And more than that, he was claiming that he was the real victim. Miss Heard, in her frustration and in her rage and her anger, she would uh, strike out. She had given me a good chop in the ear, you know. Suddenly, and I said, go ahead. Hit me. Bam. We love you, Johnny! And it's not just the fans. This courtroom drama has for millions become daily viewing. And it's clear that from the very beginning, it's Johnny Depp that was winning the global PR battle. Over six weeks, Amber Heard had been accused of lying, faking injuries, fabricating evidence, and online? I receive hundreds of death threats regularly, if not daily. Thousands since this trial has started people mocking, mocking my testimony about being assaulted. This was a case all about words. Amber Heard's right to say she was a victim of domestic violence, an accusation that Johnny Depp says was simply a lie. He was the victim here, and the jury and much of the watching public has, after hearing it all, believed him. So some of the background there from David. Well, Nami's going to stay with us, but I just want to bring uh, Johnny Depp's team speaking, his legal team, just a few moments ago. Our judicial system is predicated on each person's right to have his or her case heard. And we were honored, truly honored, to assist Mr. Depp in ensuring that his case was fairly considered throughout the trial. We are also most pleased that the trial has resonated for so many people in the public who value truth and justice. Now that the jury has reached its conclusive verdict, it's time to turn the page and look to the future. Thank you all so much, thank and you. thanks to the jury. Thank you so much. Uh, so that was the legal team for Johnny Depp, but no sign of Johnny Depp, Nomia? No, he's not here. He's not even in, in America. Cancun. He's, 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 he's in the UK. Holiday. <laughs> 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 15 mil up. The entire six week <laughs> trial. I did speak to, to one girl that, that was here, a teenager, and uh, she said to me that this, I asked her why you come, and she said it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to be here, and that's because she is a big Johnny Depp fan. And she had followed the case, interestingly, on social media. And um, I said to her that Johnny Depp isn't here, and she said that she wasn't disappointed, that she's hoping that he does win. This was, of course, before, before the verdict. Um, but no, he's not here. He has released a statement, however, in which he has basically said, sorry, I'm just getting the statement up. He has said, he has thanked the jury, he said, for giving me my life back. He says, from the very beginning, the goal of bringing this case was to reveal the truth, regardless of the outcome. 
The best is yet to come and a new chapter has finally begun. Um, Amber Heard has also given a long statement in which she says that she is heartbroken by the, um, by, by the result of this uh, verdict. Uh, so can she How can you be heartbroken when it, it's been proven most likely that's that the thing. That's the thing. Like, I don't know how you can really be heartbroken. Again, this will stem from her anyway. She was the one... Like, my thing is, yeah, again, their relationship sounded very toxic. So maybe Johnny Depp might have done some stuff to her as well, but she, mm. in many cases, looked like the perpetrator of a lot of, like, mm. the, the thing. Even when they would argue, it would yeah. really be her that escalates uh -huh. it or yeah. does something like that. So... And there's and Johnny Depp had tons of evidence with mm -hmm, it and mm -hmm, witnesses for that. Mm -hmm. She was just hearsay. It was really just her coming up with the thing. So again, I don't know what you expected. Mm -hmm. And if you're now gonna come out to the public and basically say that this guy has been abusing you, whatever, knowing that you had been doing stuff yourself, how can you? What do you mean you're heartbroken? Yeah, doesn't make what sense. What do you mean you're heartbroken? You you're deceiving. No you're heartbroken sense. because you're losing peace and now yeah. no Hollywood has seen you Correct. and they're not gonna work with you. That's why Correct. you're heartbroken. Correct. Wait. Yeah. He's obviously here, but she's now left. But no, Johnny Depp wasn't here in court uh, to see him win the case. His lawyers did give uh, a brief statement outside court just a few moments ago. And just before I let you go, Namia, so it is 15 million that has been ruled in favour of Depp, shall we say. Then there was 2 million, if I have that correct as well, on the counter suing, uh, in the sense of wow. uh, <laughs> that some aspects Johnny Depp did defame Amber Heard, but obviously not to the numbers that she was asking. But wait. That's right. The jury decided those down. And this is this is why I don't get this whole thing. Yeah, like I don't know if it's an American thing, but I could both sides be suing each other and so and you pick. Wait. So wait, Johnny Depp has received fifteen million yeah. from her, and then he's gonna have to give two million for her for defaming her. What? <laughs> what? How does that even make sense to me? No sense. I don't get it. Like, how can you defame someone for basically saying that you didn't do mm. what they accused you of doing? Mm. Is it not just defending yourself? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm thinking, man. Is it defaming? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I guess they probably found some evidence mm. that proved that he did maybe do some stuff. Yeah, boy. Yeah, just, I yeah. know, I've, I've always just wanted to be in a uh, courtroom actually to see how it works. But, uh, so, is it all in the jury's hand, or is it the jury and the judge? The jury and the judge. Okay. The jury and the judge. Interesting. They, 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 I'll say the jury will come to the decision of, like, um, basically, like, who's, if the person's guilty or whatever, all that kind of stuff, and the judge will come to, like, the sentence or, mm. like, what, like, um, the repercussions will be, mm. basically. How do you ever find out, like, if they're being sincere as well and who they're picking? I've always wondered. What, in terms of the jury? Yeah. It's random. Like, they select random people. Yeah. Like, random people from the thing. Like, they'll probably still select you soon. Like, everyone has to... Well, well everyone kind of gets selected at random at mm -hmm. some point. Like, my brother, my older brother, he did it, like, young. Like, I remember, like, he would have been, like, maybe, like, 20 or 21. Seriously? And it was a big case as well. Very, very Seriously? big case that he got selected on. <laughs> Okay, my case, I'll tell you off camera. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want anyone to come Highly after me. Hey, don't come after me, man. Hey. <laughs> but <laughs> it's interesting, though. It's interesting. Maybe I might have to just go and walk in and just be listening. You know that people who judge Judy and all of that kind of stuff? <laughs> I'll just be watching these cases and just say, hmm. Oh, my days. Oh, gosh. Which is why we had a slight delay before mm -hmm, gotcha. we actually got to the verdict. But for Amber Heard, it doesn't, it doesn't really mean anything because uh, what she's been awarded, she has to pay him yes. uh, those damages. So uh, for her, it is a loss in that sense as well. Now, we have, thank you so much for bringing us up to date outside that uh, courthouse in Fairfax, Virginia. Well, joining me now is Martha Gill. She's columnist. Joining me now is Martha Gale. She's columnist at The Observer and has written uh, extensively uh, on this case. Uh, great to have you with us, Martha. You know, Namia was talking to us there a little bit uh, about some of the fans that have turned out for Johnny Depp, even though he is not in the country. Uh, and you have experienced that as well. I think some of them that were dubbing themselves the Deptford Wives uh, that were trying to find him when he was in the UK performing at a concert. I mean, how do you understand this verdict? How do you understand that fandom for him? As some that weren't even aware of him before this case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. 
So as to the verdict, I think in um, the way I understand it, um, in regards to Me Too, for example, um, this is not a straightforward, even though this is even though this is the way that the jury has gone, this is not necessarily a straightforward case of, you know, vindictive liar um, uh, framing her ex-spouse. There was a previous court case which finds in conflict with this one in the UK, uh, where Johnny Depp was found to be responsible for 12 counts of assault and the Sun newspaper was awarded uh, the right to call him a wife beater. So this raises the possibility uh, that in fact Johnny Depp uh, was an abuser who who has effectively used the courts to sue Amber Heard uh, for defamation. This is a possibility. Um, So that opens up a couple of quite worrying things. One that, um, you know, other abusers will, if indeed Johnny Depp is, um, have the possibility of it continuing their abuse through the courts by suing uh, their alleged victims for defamation. And it might discourage victims from coming forward. Um, but, um, so that's that's how I find the verdict. Um, but as mm. for um, the general reaction to the trial itself... Um, what, do you, what do you think uh, you about know, that? Because, again, that's, that, you're leaning towards one side because, again, there wasn't just one perpetrator of the abuse. Both of them from the sounds of it, were abusive to each other, kind of thing. Mm, yeah, Hence exactly. why he won the case. He didn't just win yeah. the case because she, she called him a thing and he lost the rights to Correct. blow his films and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. She also perpetrated abuse as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. So you can't just look at the abuse and say that Johnny Depp was an abuser yeah. when she was also an abuser as well. Mm-hmm. So to now come and say that this might, you know, put people off coming out that are in abusive relationships and stuff like that, I mean, that's not fair. That's no, actually I fair. think that's if anything, it, it like, should show that, like... Yeah. If you have been abused, you should come forward. Yeah. But don't try and spin it. Don't spin don't it. Don't spin, spin it for the narrative. Benefit. Exactly. This should be a warning. Like again, if you have been abused, there's always people that can help. Yeah. And make sure you go and get the help. But if you're being abused and you're also a perpetrator of the abuse, then you guys need to sort out something in your relationship. But if you need to leave, then leave each other. Really. But don't come out and say that you are being abused when you've also been an abuser correct, as well kind correct, of thing because you're both in the wrong 100 percent. that goes above and beyond the verdict i mean the efforts to humiliate amber heard um uh were industrial they were all over social media there were TikTok games um you know mocking her um her allegations of abuse and rape um, you know, Saturday Night Live um, mocked her too. Um, and to me, that says there is a huge anxiety um, about the Me Too movement and, and that this is a form of a backlash. Yes, and indeed, of course, with that case, as we have been reporting, uh, he has, the jury has ruled in favour of Johnny Depp uh, saying that he uh, was defamed by his ex-wife, Amber Heard. But Coming to the aspect of Me Too that, that you bring up there, Martha, your article is Me Too is over if we don't listen to the imper- imperfect victims like Amber Heard. Um, and that you see this as kind of a backlash to the Me Too movement. So perhaps even further ramifications that what happens than what has happened in that particular court case. Yes, I mean, so I think that there was a big anxiety about, about Me Too. Um, and uh, the figure of Johnny Depp um, represents that anxiety perfectly. Um, the anxiety was really that any man, um, you know, even very powerful. <laughs> Sorry, forgive me. I'm not laughing at this situation, but the figure of Johnny Depp rep- rep- represents what the backlash. I'm confused. To the Me Too movement. What? I'm conf- I'm actually confused. But again, she's really just showing her side of the, of, of well, what side yeah. she leans towards. I'm pretty sure that she's probably a feminist and just wants to support Amber Heard. Yeah. That's, that's what it sounds like because, again, not once have I heard her mention that also Amber Heard was also an abuser. Yes. That like you can't just look and just it's say that, no, oh, yeah, no, no, that there was 100%. one thing. Because, again, if you're talking about the Me Too movement as well, Johnny Depp mm, is, yeah, can also yeah, exactly. be, say he can Me relate. Too yeah, because yeah, I was 100%. also, you know, abused as well. 100%. So, again, this is a bit of a double standard. Like, a big uh, one. It's a bit... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and I'm trying to be objective to what she's saying, but yeah, I can see she's that's kind the of thing. I'm trying to be objective, to... but you can see that she's clearly talking with a bias. Like you can, it's so clear. Definitely. <laughs>
men who the courts normally treat fairly um, could um, be treated unfairly and brought down um, um, at any moment. And I think that is the anxiety that this reaction um, to this particular case um, <laughs> speaks to. Um, but uh, that is a slight misunderstanding of what the Me Too movement was trying to do. I mean, the idea that, that, that we should believe women, women uh, was not in fact um, uh, suggesting that no woman could possibly ever be dishonest. Um, it was an effort to correct a bias um, that still exists in the courts and still exists um, elsewhere against believing women. Um, so that's why I think that if, if indeed um, this does set back the Me Too movement, which I really suspect that it does, it's, it, it has been incredibly effective at dismantling it, and a lot of um, debt supporters are now um, suggesting that the Me Too movement um, has been dismantled by this case, um, um, that, would, um, that would be a bad thing because I think what the Me Too movement was doing uh, was correcting a, a problem that, that still exists. If I'm understanding correctly, what she's trying to say is that this case has dismantled the Me Too movement's uh, initiatives by actually... Um, let me get my words right. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> by uh, suggesting here, I don't know if she's suggesting or followers or whatever, people are suggesting that um, the women that do come forward, mm. you know, are actually judged incorrectly, like as lying. Mm. That's what she's saying, the case is done. That's what she's basically trying but to say. But in reality, like, at least as far as I know, if a woman comes out and says, I've done A, B and C, you're going to look at her and believe her completely. That's the thing. That's why so I'm like, I don't get it. That, that, that's, the, that's the thing, yeah. Like, I don't know whether, <laughs> like, some people are stuck in a past, but from what I see around me, and again, I'm not, I'm not saying that there isn't cases. There's probably a lot of cases and at positions that we're probably not. I'm sure, like, within, like, the film industry and, like, you know, up, up there, like, when in the big leagues and stuff like that, mm. a lot of stuff happens because, again, there's still a lot of, you know, guys in power mm. and there's a lot of corruption going on. So I'm still sure that there is stuff that happens. But on a lower level, really, when you look at it, more time, if a guy has done anything or even just touched a lady, the, the lady will be believed. Like, she can go to Definitely. the police and say that this guy who had done the whatever oh, and they will take it seriously. Yeah. Like, more time. Like, yeah, I'm just definitely. looking at a low level, at the, the level that most of us and in the viewers cases, are at, yeah. in most cases, yeah. that's what's going to happen. Yeah. So then when people say stuff like, oh, yeah, like, um, women are not believed and all this kind of stuff, I feel like that is not where totally true. From? Like, where is it coming from? In your personal experience, have you experienced that? I want to ask anyone that have you experienced that because for me I haven't experienced it I'm not saying that it hasn't happened it clearly will have happened because there's a lot of cases that have gone under the rug especially in past years but I'm saying in 2022 now again let's look objectively and just look at what we see more time if I'm even just walking past somebody walking past a lady listen the the there's been so many scenarios where a late where a, where where I've even had to you know conduct myself or move myself away from a situation just so that I cannot I, I won't come across as this yeah, or whatever yeah, because yeah, I yeah. know what would happen if Men a man feel extra comfortable yeah, you know exactly, what I mean do you yeah. know what I mean so it's like I hear it but I don't hear it yeah <laughs> I hear it and don't hear yeah, it yeah exactly like <sighs> and then even talking back to what she's saying about the whole me too movement me there's 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 elements of it that I feel like is, is you know, that is right. Everyone should feel comfortable to come out and speak out on whatever, whether there's abuse or whether it's what assault, whatever it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Come out and, like, um, you should be comfortable to be able to come and speak out and, and you shouldn't be treated like, you should, you should, people should respect what you're, what you're saying, basically. But at the same time, this should be a warning, and the way I'm seeing it is that this should be a warning to people that might potentially try and take advantage of that, you know, Me Too movement to right. come to come and, you know, accuse somebody or, in this case, defame somebody or, you know, just basically cry wolf, mm -hmm. really, because people do it. A lot of people do it. And again, this is one case out of many cases. Mm. A lot of cases nothing happens to the people that make these accusations mm. there's been so many cases where yeah, people have tried rape and whatever yeah. and nothing has happened to them indeed like and i feel like for me 
something should happen to them as well, kind of thing. But that being said, that being said, I still agree with the Me Too movement to an extent in that you should be comfortable to come out and the police, everyone should believe to an extent, but at the same time, be weary that they are lies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, exactly that. Well, anyway, Johnny yeah, Depp is one. Mm. Glad for him. Yeah, man. And at least for me, I won't be fooled and believe Johnny Depp is a saint. He's not yeah, a saint. He's even stuff that he's been yeah. sued for as well. That's the he has thing. To be he's paid. not a saint. But, um, may the truth always prevail. Yeah, man. That's what we want. I did, I did. That's it. That's it. And in this case, the truth prevailed Indeed. because she made it out like it was just him that was doing this stuff. In the article, did she mention that she did anything? Did she mention that <laughs> they he, never they never yeah, mentioned what they exactly. did? Exactly. <laughs> did she mention that she punched him? That never happens. No. Nope. <laughs> did you remember that nope. she, that she hit him multiple times? Nope. He had bruises as well. There are two did she mentioned that she pooed, that she pooed on his side of the bed? Like, come no, on. That, that's nuts. Like, somebody like How that. How do you have to be okay? That's what I'm saying. Like, mentally, like, even, you can't even, like, when someone has done something like that as well, can we even take them seriously, kind of thing? But, yeah, man. There are two sides to every story, There's always, man. There's, there's two sides, man. Let's, and like, two sides. as we've been saying, like, in our videos and whatnot, let's be objective. That's let's it. not jump that's to conclusions. Like, like you said, let's do, your do your research. Do your research. Do your research, man. That's why I tell everyone, do your research. Because I remember, even when this first, when this whole thing, what do you call it, um, when it first came about, like, a couple, two yeah. years ago, whatever, yeah. everyone was jumping on Donnie Depp. Johnny Depp is an abuser and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff, which, again, now led to, like, people cutting ties with him, which we've seen so many, 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 many times. People just jump on the bandwagon mm -hmm. and say, this person, because that's what's being put out there. Exactly. Do your research, Do people. It. Don't just Please. jump on what you just see on social media, 100%, 100%. man. 100%. 100%. Come on. <laughs> Let's be better. Please. You be better, man. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you're watching, it's something different, <laughs> but um, very informative, you know. Uh, yeah, very informative. I hope you guys benefited from it. Yeah, man. Indeed, indeed. Cool. Wow.